Good day, and I'm Sylvia Gina Hunt, and as always, we're back with the show, Self Talk, Talk Self, and uh, my guest that I'm honored is Christina. Hi, Gina. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you? I'm wonderful. So you're here, and I know your craft is photography, but... Yes, um, yes, yes. Doing this show is going to be a, um, a little different. We're going to see uh, Christina's finest yes. work. And all our work is really fine. Oh, thank but you. Um, we also get to actually chat with Miss Christina, and she will tell us what makes her tick, what makes her love to take pictures and photos, you know. And we're going to start out with um, what makes you tick? Why do you like taking photos so much, Miss Christina? I think the reason why I like to take photos so much is because I think sometimes the photos can speak to you louder than most words can. I think it's, they, I think that's a sort of like a quote or something that I, you know the oh, victors can speak a thousand words and they, and they certainly can. There are images out there now that you don't even know who the photographer is but if you see it you recognize it and it gives you an impact and makes you feel and I think that's what I love about photography that you can capture a moment in time that would last forever and it can you know, through the decades, continue to make millions of people feel, give them a reaction. I think that's just wonderful. And I don't really see anything else that can give you that. I don't see any other artistry that can give you that. That same feeling. For yeah, me, the feeling is deep. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a deep feeling. Especially even in, rem in rem memorizing things. Yeah, uh, it does. History. I'm, yeah, it, it does. It, it's a good it example does. of showing and place it does. in history. It does. I feel like even in your own personal photo albums when you're going through them, you know, they may not be of a, a professional caliber, but when you look at those memories, it makes you feel something. Right. And so that's why I like photography. So then I like to just uh, photograph things that I know probably people either never encountered or mm -hmm. um, they'll never see for themselves. I like to capture those and, and make them feel whatever it is that feeling is, you know, if it makes you feel angry or happy or sad, whatever. As okay. long as you're feeling something, I feel like I accomplished something. And what drives you? Um, what, is it animals? Is it the ocean? What type of photography that mm -hmm. I do? Um, right now, I usually kind of do more of a landscape. I do nature. Um, I like it um, because I feel like it's much easier. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I can be at a spot in a mountain, and I know it's not going to move. Okay. You know? And I say sometimes when you when you, when you uh, film people, or you take pictures of people. Sometimes they get tired, mm -hmm. you know, they're sitting in that one position. And uh, well, the mountain's not going to get tired, obviously. So right. I can just go ahead and do that, and I, I could do a lot of cool things um, with my picture. Uh, if I get a chance, I like to do animals. It's rather hard. You got to be quick. Mm -hmm. um, but I am now starting to venture off into more of what they call like an urban photography. So okay. um, you'll see some of my pictures there. It's like graffiti art. I oh, see. There you go. Right there is one. Oh, great. That's an abandoned building in Philly. It's okay. the uh, old Bud Factory. Okay. They used to manufacture um, airplane parts, car parts. It's mm -hmm. an abandoned. So um, you know, people go in there and graffiti it up and do all that. I noticed you like a lot of colors too in that. Yeah, I like I like my images to pop. Joy. Yeah, I like my pictures to have a lot of color in it. Mm -hmm. um, so say that's another one too. Or if it doesn't have a lot of colors, it has to be like very contrasting. Okay. You know, like very dynamic. Okay. Um, that's what I aim for. You know, okay. all the time. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Tell me some of the places that you've gone that uh, you know that. Uh, recently um, in the United States. In the United States? Mm -hmm. So the most of the photos I think I submitted here are ones where I went to New Mexico. Okay. So um, the this one photo here is this is a this this one right here is downtown um, uh, Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. um, I've gone to um, Chimayo in mm -hmm. New Mexico. Um, I've gotten to, I mean, I'm, I live right outside of Philly, so I, some of my shots, the vast majority of my shots are in Philly. Okay. Uh, the place that I love the most, which is this photo right here, these mm -hmm. two, is uh, Zion National Park. Okay. And for me, that is the ultimate, ultimate place. I often joke around and say that um, Zion is a place where even an atheist will believe because it's just absolutely stunning and it's absolutely beautiful and there's no way that you can 
take a bad picture there. It's everything is just visually pleasing to the eyes. Okay. So that's one of my favorite, favorite places to go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm you, you have to add that on your bucket list, Gina. You gotta go. I have go. to, I have to. You have I to have add that on your bucket it. list, yes. I always love colors anyway, and I'm, yes. you know, the color, the spirit, the joy. Yes, yes, And yes. then also it's, the symbol of your, you know, yeah. your religious value as far as, yeah. you know, for everyone to be at peace. And Especially at Zahn. It's a very, very um, peaceful place. It's a place where, you know, every day when I'm out there in the field, I always, especially when I'm out in places where it's mountainous, I usually just try to take a moment of reflection just to kind of be grateful that I'm here, that I'm able to witness this. But something about Zion, it's just something, it's, it's a very magical place. I can't, I don't know what the word is to, to describe it, but it's one of those places that I tell everyone, like, you, you have to go and experience it for yourself. And um, you don't have to be a photographer to enjoy it. You know, there's a lot, there's a a park there where people go out to camp. There's trails in there. Um, where I was going to was kind of on the remote side of, so I had to climb through mountains and oh, stuff really? like that. Yeah. You were so yeah. adventurous. Yeah. <laughs> so what did you do? Carry the bucket, the so, water, no, the water? No, the no, I carry a bucket. <laughs> no, I definitely didn't carry a bucket, no. <laughs> but I, you know, it definitely requires me having like hiking boots and I okay. have uh, like a walking stick. And I'm going, I mean, I don't want to make it sound like, like I'm straight up mountain climbing. I don't do that. Okay. But I am climbing up some high altitudes. Like Zion, I think it was like 4,000 feet above wow. sea so yeah so so I'm, I'm climbing through some areas I'm, I'm in some awkward places to sometimes be able to get the shots um, okay yeah so but uh but it's worth it like mm -hmm. at the end of the day when I look at that photo and I'm like oh it was it was worth that you know climbing over the the boulder and getting scraped up on my knee or on my hands just to, to get that shot so yeah oh, great. it's awesome now tell me I know that you're fabulous and you're doing this great work mm -hmm. But as a note, in your own personal opinion, mm -hmm. are there any magazines or any type of uh, oh, yeah. photography that's out right now that you just really love to heart that, that you would like to grasp and say? National Geographic is like God. It is, it is heaven. It is everything. It is life. Just even talking about it gives me life. If I could have my photo featured in that magazine, I don't even care what size it is. <laughs> wow. But as long as it's in there, and I can say my photo was in National Geographic, I can I would die tomorrow. I yeah, mean, it was the it's phenomenal. You would woman. live. Because I would you, live. You know, that's it. That, that that is my goal. I would love to have any of my photos featured in National Geographic, and not as a, like a contest either. No, like they want to use my photo or something like that. Or your photos, because you don't. Listen, you, you're doing Thank nature you. and, you know, yeah. that kind of thing that they're yeah. really interested in and that thing yeah. that really um, people are really starting to think. As a matter of fact, outside today, yeah. Christina, they have the climate march because, yes. you know, what are we doing? Yes. The climate is destroying yes. all of the environment. And as a photographer who mm -hmm. takes pictures of nature, that mm -hmm. is of utmost importance to me because I want to have, I want these places to survive. I want these places to exist so that... I can take pictures of these, and people after me can take these pictures. Absolutely, you know, our future. It, our future, yeah. yeah, our future definitely depends on it. Yeah. So, um, if we don't have it, they're not going to be, uh, they won't be able to enjoy what I'm able to enjoy at the moment right. when I'm in there. But luckily, you're in the position, and in your job skills, your art, you're actually able to present this to everybody all over the world, as we're doing right. In itself, <laughs> is a, a, I guess, a benefit, a blessing. Yeah, right. yeah, Whatever it is. It, it is, yeah. And you're just having fun doing your job and your craft. It's a lot just, of fun. For me, it's not. It's not even a job for me. I, when I'm out there, my goal isn't to to take a perfect picture. I just, I just love it, literally. I mean, I'm pretty much a, a very talkative person, mm -hmm. and this is the one thing. Like when I'm behind that camera, where everything is just still. Even where everything else is just chaotic, even if I'm, you know, like I said, like right now I'm trying to transition and do some urban and to photograph people more. And even with all of that, when I'm behind the camera, everything is still nothing else matters. Nothing. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters, yes. Just well, I don't think you can go any deeper than that, you know, <laughs> and you're caring and, and, you know, oh, and thank your you, excellence, Gina. Thank you, you Gina. know, of this skill and this art. No, I thank you. You know, it's truly an honor to have you here to share with the world and to, you know, emphasize and tell us 
a few things up because we definitely have to have you come back, Miss Christina. I will. Because I know we can't I learn everything. Photos. We can't learn everything in just one segment. That's right. Yeah, so and I'm back. sure Yay. by the time you come back, tell me where are you planning next to go and, and maybe shoot or. Um, I definitely want to shoot some other spots um, kind of in my local area. Okay. I'm actually heading down to Miami next weekend. Okay. So I'm Miami, that yes, sounds cool. Yes, wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm wow. Hoping, yeah, and there's a uh, this, uh, location there that uh, some other photographer friends of mine that they were like telling me there was dope that I need to go check it out. So okay. I'll be there next weekend um, for a little bit of vacation and then I'm going to try to see if I can get some shots in there. Okay. Um, I do have some trips that I'm kind of planning, but I don't want to speak on it just yet because I just don't, I don't know for sure. Okay. But um, it'll definitely be outside the country. Okay, sure. Yeah, definitely well, want to be outside the country. Well, Miami, sure. that you mentioned. Well, that, Miami is uh, in, in wow, the States. Florida. Yeah, you know, that's wow. Florida. Yeah. You know. yeah, I've been to Florida a few times. I've been to Miami a few times. So, yeah. so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Maybe get a little south, you know, south, south, a little south of Miami too. Yeah, I think the location that I'm gonna go there, my friends are recommending me. I think it's called Wind Walls. Okay. I, yeah, so um, I think it's a little bit south of Miami, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So that's where I definitely want to go check out. Okay. Yeah. And then that's gonna be. Well, we're not going to be talking about hills there, but we're going to be talking about the beautiful ocean um, and uh, this place is the more, beaches. No, well, yeah, in terms of Miami, yeah, it'll be the beaches, it'll be the sand, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but the location that I wanted to go, which is Wind Walls, I think, I think that's the name of it, is more urban. There's okay. more streets, like graffiti, um, you know, and then there's a lot of people outside, so I think that's what I want to try yeah. to do yeah try and to capture that part of florida is also uh also uh, it's urban but then there's also a lot of horses and uh cowboys in miami have, well they have the rodeos <laughs> they have the rodeos there and then you know i'm not sure do they have the they, yeah, have, they have the rodeos in florida oh, i learn something new every day yeah, oh, they have okay. the rodeos and cattle i mean that the like say for an example and like all parts of Florida, they have the horses and they have, uh, you know, cattle and that kind mm -hmm. of thing. And they have the cowboys and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But generally the people, the population that likes that are the only ones to know. It's like a real life. It's like these kids with wrestling, mm -hmm. you know, when wrestling comes and the tours all over right. and it's a different thing. But the people that love horses mm -hmm. and, you know, that kind of thing, yeah. and the bullfighting and things yes. like that there, they... They, they do I do want to do I do want to try that I do mm -hmm. want to try um, because I've seen some uh, I know some other photographers that they uh, they mostly just shoot equestrian right and it's just and later shots of their horses are just absolutely stunning and they're beautiful because yeah, the animals, horses yeah. just horses in itself they're just huge, they're beautiful so and then the beautiful seagulls and things mm -hmm. like that that like yeah. to come to the yeah but I didn't know if I, I didn't know that they had a rodeo there so I yeah, they have rodeos check it out. go through all, all Florida they stopped it in some states. Okay. But Florida is one of the big ones, and so is uh, Texas. Okay. That's Although like Dallas, you know, I'm not, I'm, if you're talking about the city, city, mm -hmm. they have it in Dallas, but the people in the city part of Dallas, even though they have the horses and, and so forth there, but okay. the people is, are not unaware of it. Only oh, the ones that gotcha. are more like, you, you know what I mean? Okay. All right. That's so you have to, to go and they have the big sheds where you okay. can see the horses. Okay. And, yeah, I gotta check that out. I don't know that. When the hot new. weather is, then you got the horses. All right, <laughs> I'm going to see today. Hey. Thank you, Gina. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And you awesome. know they got the dolphins and the, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. All yeah. of that is right there for you. At, yeah. At, yeah. And, and uh, right in your hands. So that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking that that's just great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Gina. Ah, no, thank you. <laughs> so then uh, the other places that you've been, like, uh, for an example, um, the nature and the beautiful things in uh, Santa Domingo. Yeah, so I was in Santa Domingo. Well, I haven't been in Santa Domingo. I mean, I was in Punta Cana. Okay. I'm from, my family is from Santa Domingo. So I think that's where you have Santa Domingo in your okay. head. Okay. Right. So yeah, I and was. And the beautiful birds there, they're known yeah, for the trees yeah, and it's, the birds. Yeah, it's, and the... It's, a, it's a beautiful country, you yeah. know, uh, beautiful beaches. Yeah. Um, and I was just talking to someone earlier today. They were mm -hmm. wanting to go to Dominican Republic, and I said, do it. Yeah. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely. It's a, definitely on a bucket list item to do. Okay. But absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, I, I do have some shots of um, of DR that I have to do. I mean, I have a lot of a lot of pictures that I'm still editing and going through. Okay. I'm pretty critical of my work. Okay. Um, so I could 
I've been to locations where I take hundreds of pictures and then I look back at it and I don't like it and I won't release it. I, <laughs> it, it happens. Like, okay. I, so, it happens. I mean, that, I, I would think so because you, you know, yeah. you're an artist. Yeah, I want it to be... And people say artists so, are so particular, picky and choosy. Yeah, it's you know, true. You know what I mean? It's true. I think I was telling someone, I was like, if someone doesn't like my photos, if someone criticizes my photo anyway, I guarantee you I probably said the same thing. I probably said, ah, oh, this photo stinks, so this photo needs this or needs that. So whatever someone would criticize, I probably already criticized it already. So, All right. Yeah. And so, you, you know, but, but still there's a beauty in it. Plus, yeah. at that moment, yeah. and the craft of just you know, doing the work, following up on the work. Yeah. That's the most important part, that you're yeah. inspired to do that. And yeah. I mean, because it can't be always just beautiful out there. Sometimes, what, it's, it's very hot or very cold or... Uh, you're, you're, yeah. You're, you're, you know um, what I mean? So you're, 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 you're driven. No yeah. matter what the search, you, you know... You, you like, know. for instance, the shooting in that building in, in Philly, I mean, mm -hmm. it's an abandoned building, so you have, you know... Mm -hmm. CD individuals living in there okay. and um, particular <laughs> smells in okay. there. Um, right. You know, I often give the same story when uh, speaking of Zion, where I was um, trying to take a shot of particular, I think it was a flower. And in order for me to do that, I had to be on the ground. And then right next to the flower was a nice pile of like goat poop or something. Okay. So I'm, my head's kind of down, my, cam <laughs> my camera here, and the poop is right here. And then, like, if I just drop a little bit further, you know, my face is going to be in that. So, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm in some uncomfortable spots to, to, okay. to get the shot, but it's worth it. And I'm scared of heights. So the fact that I was able to do the mountains for me, it was like a huge accomplishment to be able to to, to climb up there and to take those pictures because I am terrified of, of heights. And we're in high tiers now. As we <laughs> well, this is okay. This is not that high. I'm okay with this. Uh, okay. When I'm about, you know, at least 20 feet above the ground, then I'm starting to get, you know, I'm sort of like, oh, it's, let me just step back here. I, Tell it me. frightens me. So your camera, mm -hmm. it's got to be, do you, is your camera, does it have a name? Is it that personal to you? It, I know how we love our cats and I, our dogs. I don't have a name for my camera, okay. but I am very protective of my camera. I don't let anyone who is not uh, a photographer touch my camera. Like, okay. I can grab my camera any old way. Right. But if I was to give you my camera and you would just grab it just to grab it, I would snatch it out of your hands. Yeah. I just don't <laughs> leave my camera alone. Right. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, okay. it's just, no, it's just a certain way. If you're not, if you've never taken a picture with these type of cameras, like you have to be shown how to hold it because okay. any. Well, I know for one, they're very yeah. expensive. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I mean, so that. just the lens itself can run you anywhere from $100 to 20000 I mean, easily. <laughs> I'm probably a little bit Out more. Out of my league, yeah. yeah so I, uh, more. I can understand. I yeah. wouldn't let nobody touch it. Right, <laughs> exactly. So I'm sort of like if you come within a six mile radius mm -hmm. of of trying to hold my camera, you know, in the improper way, yes, I would be like, no, don't touch it, don't look at it. Just just leave it right there. So it has a sacred It is a, very it's sacred. Very sacred to it you is very the, sacred to me. With that. It is very sacred to me, yeah. And uh, how about going in and getting the supplies? Do you get it online or you personally go in? Um, well Tell us, me, because we know that this world is mind-blowing. so expansive. Modern technology has just has made it much easier. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll, what I'll do is I usually ask other photographers, like, you know, what they shoot with, what do they recommend. Mm -hmm. I'll have to have, like, a certain um, type of shooting. Like, for instance, to say if I want to shoot, like, wild animals, just say if I want to say, um, I want to go to Africa and uh, okay. shoot a safari. Okay. So I'm going to need a nice long lens, okay. but I still need to be able to get a close-up because obviously you can't get that close to a lion without the lion wanting to, you know, rip your head off and eat you <laughs> for food. Yeah, so, unless he just ate. But, no, not even it. that. Not yeah. even that. It'll yeah. still, still want to attack you. So I need <laughs> to be. I still need to be able to get a close, close shot, but I need to still be at a safe distance. So I will just say I'll ask people. Okay, this is what I want to do. Um, how to which lens. I'm going to need, and then they'll start telling me different lens, uh, different brands, you know, the different focal lens, and then I'll just go in and I'll research, and then um, there are some certain spots that most photographers go to. I don't know if I can say the name. Sure, of course you can. I can say the name? Sure, of course. Okay, um, so it's Adorama, uh, uh, and yes. uh, what's the other one, B&H? Yes. Yeah, B&H, those are the two ones that anybody, anyone who's a photographer, you mentioned those names, they'll know. 
Yep. They'll know. I and go so, there too for right. this kind of business here that right. we're on now. Exactly, so exactly. A, Anybody a, who's doing, you know, photography, filming, mm -hmm. you yeah. know those spots. So that's yeah. the that's church. Yeah, that's absolutely. literally church. <laughs> absolutely. You go in I there totally and you agree. praise, you give praise to the lenses. And, and you know, whatever even if they don't need. have it, they can always, they can always accommodate order. you yeah. within a week time. Right. And work. usually when you go in there, you know, you tell them, okay, I need to shoot this. And what lens will I need? And they'll be able to assist you with that. But yeah, I try to at least you know, ask around, um, you know, I, what kind of lens I'm going to need, you know. Um, in terms of pricing, I, I hate to say it, most of the lenses are kind of like standard pricing. I, I know, like I shoot with the Nikon. Okay. So if I go for a Nikon lens, if it, one store, if it's $99.99, every store is gonna be $99.99. So they don't vary in, in prices okay. with some of these lenses. So, it, you know, but, yeah. um, you know, you all. Well, those are the breaks. Yeah, those, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You those, want the best, so you. You're gonna you, spend you, some, you, you some spend. money. Yeah. And then the result is a better quality, you know. Yes, yes. More fascination to, yes. to you and then the people that get the viewing. Yes. And then it's just a fascinating piece. The whole thing is, it's, it has so many components. Yeah. Yeah. It so, is. I mean, it's just gotta be so, each day more and more exciting. As yeah. you do more and more stuff, and then yeah, it is. the more stuff you do, the more stuff I learn. I think that's why I like photography so much because and practice makes perfect. Yeah, it's like you you learn something every day. I'm constantly learning. Oh, this this new technique or this new lingo or, or just something mm -hmm. or just meeting people. Right. I think that's the best part. Right? Just meeting people. Like, oh, you're a photographer too. Oh, what do you shoot with? Oh, what do you shoot with? You know, you just mm -hmm. kind of have that that you know that um I don't know that sense of uh oh my god you're a photographer too like well, yeah, let's, let's let's have a conversation you know yeah we can yeah, listen yeah. i'm just thinking what you brought to the table and what you shared with all of us um as far as i know there isn't any photography show set up on this you know how we started out with dancing mm -hmm. and then we got dance this show and that mm -hmm. show dance mm -hmm. do you think that you may bring to the table not now but maybe in the future one day uh a real live photography show where you have all of these different photographers that you have conversations with through the years and all, all, everybody is anxious to oh, maybe yeah. have a show on photography and then everybody get together and share something like you know how they do with the dancers mm -hmm. and dancing with the stars photography yeah. around the around the globe so, around so Europe. So photography is for people yeah. dancing? Photographers yeah. dancing? That's what, is that what you're saying? No, no. <laughs> Similar, but I know what you mean. It's similar. Meaning that sort of like a kind you know, of a round we always table. dance, and it's yeah. always been a part of our culture. Mm -hmm. We always take photos and pictures, and it's always been a part of our culture, no mm -hmm. matter where we come from or mm -hmm. whatever. And then, at to the point that TV and reality and realism mm -hmm. is so important. It's happened, packed so much, particularly with our technology, as you mm -hmm. just explained. That do you think that there would be a show Maybe just came to that. Iconic for people to really nice. that really want to establish. Sort of like the soul train for photographers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> we could have a Christina in the world of uh, uh, with uh, special guest photographer Jack and Jill, uh, Jack and Jane, and then um, come and do battle where we have experts at the table that select out of the six week time, something like Dance with the Stars and uh, yeah. just who's Like a competition? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, that would be. I think it would, would be, be dope, wild and fun, right? That, was, that would be a dope idea. I don't think I've seen anything like that. Yeah, um, and I mean, but just your, just your idea of what you're saying. I don't know if I personally would do that. Not that there's anything wrong with that, only because mm -hmm. like even just doing this, being in front of the camera, that's, it, this is huge for me. Like, I, wait a minute. What are I you like saying, to Christina? be behind the camera. Let me just ask you something. <laughs> are you saying that your craft is taking pictures and, however, you don't like to be taking pictures of? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like to take pictures of things, and but I don't I don't like the spotlight on me. Okay. I'm not a spotlight person. Like, this is, the fact that I'm even doing this is, like, it's huge. And the next thing is that, Miss Christina, you just, said so much and this whole thing is just mind-boggling will you be able to return back <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm a little nervous forgive me <laughs> i shouldn't be but you made me nervous now but and, and, i made you nervous but that's okay <laughs>
course, okay? I just love being in your presence and, oh, and you, um, just love all these wonderful pictures that I'm looking at and just seeing. And this is actually, a, this is in, oh, this is a cool spot. Um, and this picture saw, right here. This is Jesus. Like, oh, I like God. Yeah, I like that. So this was in Chimayo. It's okay. a sanctuary in uh, New Mexico. This is also, at, this is right outside the sanctuary. Okay. It's a, a trading post. Uh, the area is kind of remote, so they don't actually have a post office. They have a trading post where they go in, and that's where they do the exchanges for their mail and, and things like that. Um, but Chimayo, where the, I took that Jesus photo, is a sanctuary. Uh, when you go in there, the church is, I think, almost 200 years old. Okay. Um, it's a unique structure. The way you look at it, it's, it's not. It's not even. Okay. Um, and the and it's, it, certain angles is actually very short. When you go okay. into some of the rooms, into the rooms, it's very very short. The people back then that built it weren't particularly tall. Okay. Uh, they were much shorter, so that's why you know, if you go in there now, you kind of feel like a, a, a giant when you go in those rooms. <laughs> you do have to kind of dip in a little bit, and I'm short, and I have to like dip in. So it goes to show you how how small um, it could be. But it's a very spiritual place. Okay. Um, because people go there for healing. So, um, yeah. Okay, well, as we wrap things up, and that was very interesting. And I guess that the people there are more of uh, Catholics, would you say? Or? Yeah, okay. yeah. So then they, they, they the, the Pope has been doing tremendous work and traveling about. How yes. would you like to one day maybe take a couple of shots of the that would be awesome. Awesome. That's definitely one person I would not mind photographing. All right. And he yeah. is a peaceful, uh, this, this, yes. this particular He's a very peaceful pope man. Yes. He's a wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, I'm always about, you know, uh, world peace. And I'm inspired by, you know, the prayer and the heart, the heart of the matter. Yes. Know? Okay. I got to prepare myself. This has been our, <laughs> our, our, our segment. And so I'm Sylvia Gina Hunt. And Miss Christina, she has shared so much with us. Hi. She's going to go ahead now and just give you all of her information. Yep. You can check me on Instagram at Chris underscore Hill underscore photos. And then my email address is photos by Chris Hill at gmail.com. So check me out. Leave your comments. Um, you can contact me for any inquiries. So and I look forward to hearing all your comments. Boy, I trust you and all, but I've been here before you. You remind me of pain, but I can't ignore you. Boy. I tried my best not to think of you I tried I just really came to play To eventually just lose to you Can I get another chance to hold you to me? Come on, baby Remember when things were so well, oh, yeah Hold you, my boy, with oh, all of my mind Just to let you slip away I put my heart out to you Oh, yeah Now I came with the end No hurting you was never my mind Yeah, yeah Trying to see what's in the cards for tonight Boy, accept this as my plea Chest. Yeah. Now that you know just how I feel, yeah. I held it in for far too long. I couldn't tell if this was real. Yeah.